Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back. It's Travis here with JT Wealth. In today's video, we're gonna talk about stocks that have dipped more than 20% since their 52 week highs but analysts give a rating of between 30 and 68% growth potential in the next 12 months. So a perfect opportunity to get in low and ride these stocks up to some all-time highs. So let's get into it. All right, for those of you who've seen my videos in the past, I apologize for the lack of Bud Light. It's only 10 a.m. here, so I thought that might be a little faux pas. We're gonna kick the video without it anyway. So like I said, the focus of today's video is stocks that have between 30 and 68% growth potential in the next 12 months that have already dipped 20% just this year off their 52 week highs. So it is a prime time buying opportunity if you're a buy the dip kind of investor. Now there are 35 of these stocks on the list that I found of all large cap index funds dipping below that 20% mark. However, we are only gonna focus on six of them for the purpose of today's video to keep it short and because they are the highest rated of all the 35 funds we're gonna look at today. But I will show you all 35 so you can stop, pause the screen, take a look at them, do your due diligence on those stocks outside of what we're gonna talk about in today's video just so that you have all the information in case you wanna pursue it. And as always, before we dive right into the main stocks of today's video, take two seconds out of your day, smash that like button for me, and consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. All right, guys, and this article came from Market Watch, and the title is These Stocks Are in a Bear Market Territory, but Wall Street Expects Them to Soar as Much as 68%. And again, we're looking at large cap stocks with at least 20% dip from their 52 week highs, but have massive potential going forward. And now, even though there's been so much ebb and flow with the market lately, the S&P 500 is still up 16% year to date. So it is still a solid year. Now, if you recall, the average S&P growth in any given year is 10%. So we are still in a very bullish year for the S&P, but that's not to say all stocks are doing as well. What we're looking at today is stocks that haven't recovered as much as the remainder of the S&P and definitely have the potential to do so. And we're just kind of waiting for that perfect catalyst. Okay, and here's just a quick image to show you guys how they came up with this list of 35 stocks. So they took the S&P 500 and the NASDAQ 100 and then removed duplicates, leaving them with 523 stocks. Of those, 107 are in a bear market, meaning they're down at least 20% from their 52-week highs up through September 21st when this data was pulled off FactSet. And from that 107, there are 35 with buy or equivalent ratings from at least two-thirds of those analysts. And they are polled here, shown to you by their 12-month upside potentials. Okay, so I'm gonna show you guys the screens now with all 35. You're gonna notice that some are highlighted yellow. Those are the ones we're gonna talk about a little bit further in today's video, basically just the top six because they have the highest share buy ratings. All right, but I'm gonna give it to you long enough so that you can pause that screen, screenshot it, whatever it is you wanna do, and look further into some of those companies because some of the ones we're not talking about today have the highest upside potential. All right, so here we go. All right, here's the first screen we're looking at. And like I mentioned, Western Digital has the highest upside potential in the next 12 months, but it only has a 70% share buy rating. So that's why it's not highlighted yellow. That's why we're not focusing on it. What you will notice is we're gonna talk about Activision Blizzard with a 94% buy rating and a 58% upside potential. NetEase, okay, 94% buy rating, 56% upside potential. General Motors, 92% share buy rating and a 47% upside potential. And Diamondback Energy, again, over that 90% buy rating with over 43% upside potential. In our second list of stocks, we've only got one meeting the criteria for today's video. That's Alaska Air Group with over 90% again and a 40% upside potential in the next 12 months. But obviously guys, there's a lot more on here. Feel free to take a look at any of these stocks. They all have potential. And the last one on our list today, meeting that criteria of breaking the 90% buy rating is JD.com, okay? And we're talking about a 27%, it's actually 30% now as of today, upside potential in the next 12 months. So let's take a look at these six a little more in depth. Now, remembering that this information is just provided to you for educational and informational purposes, and I'm not telling you guys to buy or sell 
any given stock out there but because the main data came from fact set and was pulled as such and provided to you in that article i always want to give you guys a secondary source to pull from so you can have some conflicting or some supporting information when you start doing the due diligence on any stock you may decide to invest in so what we're going to look at is the tip ranks information on the analysts pulled for these specific six stocks and see how it matches up with the fact set data and if you support their decision to go ahead and make a buy rating on these stocks let's check it out all right so starting with activision they're trading at about 7526 with 15 strong buy ratings and over 50 percent potential upside in the next 12 months so this definitely backs up what we're seeing from the fact set poll you're looking at a possible 113 dollar and 14 cent price target in the next 12 months that is a huge jump over 50 percent and certainly something to be on the lookout for here in the next 12 months NetEase trading at 81.22 today, or Friday as it were. I'm talking here to you guys on Saturday, but look at that upside, guys. 56.98% to $127.50 with a strong buy rating from all six analysts tracking NetEase stock. Third on our list is General Motors trading at 52.23 at close on Friday. It has 14 analysts giving it a buy rating, only one hold for a cumulative strong buy analyst consensus. It has a 40, almost 40.5% upside potential in the next 12 months to a possible price target of $73.36. Obviously, that is 20% above the 20% it's already dropped, right? So you definitely want to look at all six of these stocks because they have massive potential. Now, Diamondback stock, ticker symbol FANG, not to be considered with the FANG stocks or not to be confused with the FANG stocks, sorry, but Diamondback trading at 88.72, all 13 analysts rating the stock, giving it a strong buy. It has just over a 30% upside potential to a possible price target of $100. $15.62. Number five on our list, Alaska Air, ticker symbol ALK, trading at $60.79 with a consensus of four strong buy ratings from the analysts that are tracking Alaska Airlines. And the price target's just under that 30% mark to $78.75 in the next 12 months. And last on our list is JD.com, ticker symbol JD. It has a strong buy rating with 12 analysts rating the stock 11 buy and one sell. Not 100% sure why that is, but hey, so be it. With a $73.98 price target on Friday, you've got 32% upside potential in the next 12 months to an average analyst price target of $97.67. All right, guys, so those are the six stocks with over 90% buy ratings from two thirds of the analysts from FactSet. And then you could see the analysts rating it on tip ranks as well. And start your due diligence from here to decide whether or not these are stocks that you would like to invest in. Obviously, you would need to look a little bit further into the company and decide whether or not you believe in that company or that product before investing your hard earned money into any stock. All right, that's it for today's video, guys. I wanted to keep it short and sweet. It is Julie's birthday weekend. Her dad's in town. We are going to get out to the lake and enjoy this weekend. Enjoy the weather. Go for a hike. Get outside. Get some fresh air. And hopefully you guys do as well. But I just wanted to bring you guys something quick for you guys to put on your radar for the market coming up um, on Monday. All right. But thanks so much for checking out today's video. Again, I apologize for not having the beer. It is quite early. But guys, we will see you guys on Monday. Take it easy.